So this uh, video we're going to look at another CT setup for cache. I've talked about mid control before. Um, this video is going to focus basically on taking mid control of CTs. So the first player we're going to look at is actually going to be your A player. He's going to be the A anchor. It's going to be his job to make sure nobody gets on the site. Or if they do, it's going to be his job to delay for as long as possible to buy your team time to set up and rotate and help retake the bomb site. So f you're going to play from here, and the first grenade you can throw is smoke. You want to like wedge against the side of the car. Aim about here on the uh, sickle, and then throw. This should block off the the main doorway. Shouldn't leave any gaps, as you can see. Um, really useful to throw at the start of the round. This will help slow the tees, stop them just rushing out. So you're gonna put that down, and then um, say if they still push through, if you see them push through, or when inevitably they do push through if they're coming in, or if they push out a squeaky. Or you obviously can't see squeaky. You're gonna rely on a different player for that information. But um, as soon as you think they're on site and like they're close to planting. You want to line up the corner of this building, you want to get it close to the edge of this building. Then you want to aim at the intersection of these lines right here, these like wires, and then throw. This molly's going to delay the plant. This is one of my favourite mollies in the game because it stops the, uh, the A main plant, stops the default plant, stops any plant that basically they can plant like in this area. So they have to plant either here or further back or further up here all of these spots are clear, clearly visible from highway or if they push up to here um, to try and hide behind the box they're visible from car so that they could plant like I think the molly maybe lets you plant here and as you can see you can be seen from car same goes for here you can actually see a bit of the body and you can shoot them through this box or whatever so really good molly helps delay and buy a lot of time to get your team rotated in if you manage to get that molly down and they are still committing to air um, the amount of time you buy your team to get in, like you're gonna have all five players here and ready to execute the retake before they've even got the bomb down. Um, it's a huge, huge advantage. Like, definitely learn that molly and practice using it. You can also obviously throw a HE from here that will land like just over sight. Doesn't do a lot of damage, but um, if you throw it maybe with a run throw, you could get it like into roughly the same spot. So I don't know, something like this. Something like this, this will get people coming out of the site. Um, other useful throws, obviously, flashes. You want to make sure you're not flashing your team. So, bear in mind you're going to have a player over at highway, I'll show you that soon. You might want to just throw flashes like generally in front of you, like behind the, the forklift, something like this. Um, anyway, basically, his job get as many free kills as you can while not risking your life. It's more important to stay alive than to just get kills. So, that's what this guy's going to be doing. Second guy's going to be a B player. He's going to play for uh, basically set up a retake on B site. He can play on site if he wants. Um, if you do play on site though, just make sure you, you're being really aware of what you're doing with your nades. So, for example, like you're going to have some smoke down here. Normally, the T's will throw some smoke like this. Don't yourself be throwing this because it's not a good smoke for CTs to throw. Um, if that smoke's down, you don't have to worry about checkers, we're going to have another player watching that, you'll see that soon. So basically just, if you are going to play on site, you have to get these mollies down. And you have to be throwing nades to do like, good damage to the team. If you just go down without doing damage, um, it's looking pretty rough, retaking like 4v5 on B site. Um, personally, I would play from over here. You can, again, do pretty much what the guy at A tries to do. So you can get like as many free shots in as, as you like. Um, and just try and pick people off as they're getting into site. It's more important you're still alive than to get kills. So I'll let you figure out how to play this one, but basically what I would do, I, I'd run up here, I'd throw some smoke, maybe something like this. So you just run and like aim at this sign. Um, this will block off a push. You can see it blocks off the sides. Um, once that's down, obviously you can set yourself up, maybe onto site or whatever. Throw mollies over here if you need. A lot of different things you can do. You want to be communicating with the guy who's got vents. So I'll show you the mid setup now. This is the uh, the key to this strat. So the other three players are all going to go in a train through here. The first guy is going to pull out a smoke. He's going to aim sort of at the bottom of this uh, metal sheet on the floor. 
and then throw that, that's going to be your mid smoke. You can see it doesn't leave any gaps. Now once he throws that he's going to jump the fence, run down here, obviously pull your gun out by now in case to start pushing. Start walking as well, you don't want to be making noise. Get up here and go into vents. Um, vents will already be popped for you because the second guy, sorry, the um, the third guy, okay, I'll tell you the second guy in a sec. The third guy is just going to run straight through here. He's going to watch mid. He's going to run over to here, shoot out the vents, watch this door, make sure nobody's pushing through. This is the guy that's going to help out the air player, so he's going to watch squeaky door. Um, if this door opens, obviously let your guy in here know because he can't see that and he can't hear it either. Um, basically, your job stop people pushing main, but mainly keep an eye on squeaky. Just keep like rotating between these, depending on where people hear steps, where you expect the enemy's going to be pushing. Your job's going to be a little bit more like fluid, you're going to be moving between two spots, not many other players are going to. So, if they do get out of sight, Obviously mollies you can throw, you can just bounce them off that white box. Um, again to try and delay for plants and stuff. Um, HEs, throw HEs over. You can throw flashes, so you don't have to worry about flashing your teammate a truck if it goes behind that box. Throw flashes like this, because obviously there'll probably be a smoke down here. If there's a smoke down here then obviously that, that flash is going to be pretty effective. Throw HEs through there maybe. You could even um, smoke like sort of deep over here if you do it early enough and try and maybe stop them pushing this because maybe they expect a guy to be at quad a um, lot of different things you can do from here personally I would keep your smoke because you, you probably want your smoke to re-smoke mid when that one wears off um, but the rest of your nades, feel free bombard them over there um, if you've still got your smoke you can use it over there but it's unlikely you've probably used it mid by this time so yeah that's basically his job now the second guy in the train he's gonna come through first guy's going to be throwing the smoke, as he's doing that you're going to run over this corner pull out your molly see this line right here, you're going to go where it meets this doorway you're going to run forward and then right as you're about to hit the fence you're going to release the uh, the molly, so something like this hits that corner of the roof gets all the boost this means you don't have to deal with this position for a little while it means you can have this guy freely push up because you don't want this guy to be seen ideally you want like you want this guy to get into vents um, pretty undetected. Obviously, you can keep an eye on the door. You can listen for pushes it to be. His main job is going to be to keep an eye on checkers. So the guy that throws this molly, um, he's going to be like your mid anchor kind of. He um, he throws the molly. You can watch mid. Obviously, he's still got his smoke left, so you could re-smoke mid as well. You can have a smoke on this guy. You can have a smoke on the guy stood here. And um, you could play sandbags if you wanted. So you could go up to here and just watch boost when this molly wears off. A um, lot of different ways you can play this, because obviously you're going to have a guy here as well, and a guy here. Now, the guy in here obviously isn't going to have a smoke, but he'll have all his other nades. So, his other nades are obviously useful for down here, so if anyone's pushing through, just drop the molly down here. That stops squeaky, um, sorry, stops checkers being used for a bit. You can obviously bounce nades down here, just carefully you don't die. You can flash yourself out of here, just drop it off the ledge. A lot of different things you can do here. Your main job, you don't want to be like pushing out like this. Your main job is to just shoot people in the back as they come here and give them another angle to worry about. If they end up pushing mid, obviously you can help out with mid. Um, basically, the, the job between these three here is do not let people take mid. If the T's don't take mid, they have a lot harder of a time um, taking sides, like B and A site. Obviously, the only way to B is through that doorway there. And the only way to A is squeaky and main. Obviously it is going to be the easier one to take with the two entrances and with Squeaky not really being covered, it's just sort of being checked every now and then. So that's why we play for the retake with the mollies, the mollies at a delay and buy plenty of time for the retake. And trust me, like retaking A is a lot easier than retaking B generally, um, if you throw all the right nades. So the t these two guys are going to have smokes, you could like... You could have one guy, so maybe the guy that's down here, he can rotate the car. And on your retake, he could throw the exact same smoke you throw at the start of the round. This will block off main, and um, obviously if you have a guy in there that's trying to play like for time or whatever, he's now smoked off, you can just watch the smoke nice and easy. Um, the guy in squeaky, maybe you've got an incendiary left, you can throw that down. Like There's a lot of different things you can do on the retake um, that you can't really do on B. 
B people just sort of kind of like hide in spots that are hard to flush out unless you have all the nades um, you need quite a lot of nades to flush out B and you all get funneled through chokes when you're trying to retake B like mainly these two obviously with this setup you'd have people coming out of vents as well but still it's not it's not the easiest to take um, kinda need to rely on a, a bit of a strong defense on B but yeah mainly focus on mid and um, let me know what goes in the comments below let me know if you enjoyed it, let me know if you think it's useful and um, thanks for watching